Houston Station on Space to Ground. Beam looks great. It looks pristine. Uh, temperature is on the cool side. Uh, so far, no evidence of condensation. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. Beam is open for business and ready for two years of tests. Jeff Williams opened the hatch and went inside with cosmonaut Oleg Skropochka early Monday morning. After some quick air samples, Williams kicked off three days of beam outfitting. He set up hardware to facilitate airflow and installed radiation monitors, impact detection, and temperature sensors. The hatch was closed on Wednesday, and it'll be a few months before astronauts go back inside, but data from sensors will continue to come down in the meantime. Science was flowing inside the microgravity science glove box this week. The packed bed reactor experiment, or PBRE, was set up to investigate hydrodynamics and microgravity. At 324 pounds, it's the largest experiment in the glove box to date. It's testing how water and gas flow together through a reactor, a piece of technology vital for processes like reclaiming water and cleaning air that make living in space for a long time possible. This week, the Hoboken Catholic Academy's fifth grade class wants to know if there's Wi-Fi on the ISS. There sure is. The station has a wireless network that the crew uses with laptops, tablets, and other gadgets on board to execute operational tasks, run experiments, and even for personal use, like checking email, browsing the internet, or talking with friends and family on Earth. We're even in the process of extending that Wi-Fi signal outside the station, which would allow external payloads like those outside Kibo to communicate and send data wirelessly. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.